morning. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever looked so tired in my entire life. I didn't sleep hardly a wink last night. It was freezing cold. I actually woke up this morning and I was wearing my hat in bed and the top of it actually had frost on it. It was that cold. So I must admit, I am really looking forward to getting to Etna today to be able to sleep in a room that's warm, have a shower, wash my clothes, have some proper food. I think it's been nearly two weeks I've been out on trail. Or is it maybe about 11 days? It feels like two weeks. I am about five and a half miles away from the trailhead now. I've done about three and a half, four miles already. So maybe just another couple of hours. I'm just at the moment about to climb up to Etna Summit. And then it's literally downhill all the way down to the road. So that's not too bad. But even the birds and the wildlife are hiding this morning. There's just nothing out. There's, it's just like a ghost town out here. It's so strange. It's been about four days now since I've seen anybody. It is. <laughs> It's kind of weird. <laughs> so I am looking forward to getting back into a town where normality might resume just for a day or so. And I'm desperate to get my new shoes because these ones have now got holes all over them. There's little bits missing off the sole. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that Etna Post Office have my package. So the sooner I get there, the sooner I get my new shoes. So I'm going to carry on hiking. Look, the cow poo's back. I'm sure these are cows. There's more up here as well, look. I've got to find <laughs> the answer to this. I'm sure these are cow pats. Now I can hear cowbells. Okay, they've stopped now, but I'm convinced I can hear cowbells. <laughs> Maybe this is what happens when you've been on your own too long. You start going a bit stir crazy, but I'm totally convinced I can hear them. <laughs> I'm going to find these cows, I am. <laughs> It's the road! Oh my goodness! I can feel the warm bed, the shower and the good food already! <laughs> Hang on a minute, there's no cars. Hmm, I might be in for a long wait. morning i am heading into the etna town i got here yesterday and went to the post office and got my new shoes so i'm taking them out for a walk this morning to get them a little bit more worn in before i hit the trail tomorrow i did a little bit of a resupply yesterday and went and had some amazing food at bob's ranch they did me a vegan pizza so that was so nice of them <clears throat> and i'm going back there today to get some pasta and vegetables as well so i'm looking forward to that they also do like a fajita bowl, which I can adapt and stop the cheese and the sour cream going into it. <laughs> and then it'll be vegan fried. So I'm looking forward to that as well. But I'm heading to the store at the moment just to get some food and avocados, some fresh vegetables and some fresh fruit and then do the rest of my resupply ready for trail tomorrow. I'm also going to look to see if I can find a fleece or some kind of coat <laughs> that's a little bit warmer than what I've got because it has been mighty cold out on trail but they have no bus service on a weekend which is a shame 
because I was going to go to another town nearby that had a Walmart, but I can't do that, so I'm going to see what's about. But I believe it's a quick little town, so I'll try and show you around. Here we have, <coughs> here we have the library. Oh, how I miss books. Oh, that's one thing I look forward to when I get home. Here we have the fire department, which is decorated quite bizarrely. <laughs> it's a funny little town. They have a little coffee shop, but unfortunately it's closed. I don't know why. They just said that they're closed until Monday, which is a shame because that looked really nice. I have just come out of Martin's Experienced Items and I have got myself a new pair of leggings and a fleecy top, just as extra layers. So that was like a whole $5 and I have got myself laid out so I can keep a little bit warmer out on the hike so I'm feeling a bit better about that. The lady in there was so helpful and it's such a huge shop so don't be going and spending money in real shops. <laughs> Go in there first, they've got so many things. This is the hardware store, let me just flip the screen around so you can see. Sometimes they have fuel canisters in there but unfortunately they'd run out when I got there which is a shame but he did get me, <laughs> don't laugh at this, some garden hose bandage. So my waterproof trousers are ripped on the inside and instead of buying brand new waterproof trousers I thought I'd just get some duct tape and tape it up but I didn't want to buy a whole roll of tape so I said to him have you got any kind of strips and he was like this will probably do it better so he was so helpful. So I've got that to do tonight, a bit of a repair. Oh here we have the city hall and over here we have the theatre. People are starting to look at me a little bit weird walking down the street holding my phone in the air. <laughs> I don't think they're used to vloggers around here but it is such a cute little town and now I'm just arriving at Ray's food place to do my resupply. This has got to be the cutest little thing I have ever seen. It's like a little mini library in the middle of the high street where you can take little books. That is so cute. 